I'm just going to give you a little pro tip here for praising God. You have to just list a few. Just list a few. List a few. I, 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 you know what? I don't know everything God is calling me to, but I do know a few things. God has called me to love and honor my wife. God has called me to be there for my kids. And sometimes that's all I know about being a dad is be there. It is the science of showing up that produces, in my mind, the, the experiment of good kids. And it is an experiment. <laughs> Fatherhood is not a formula. A few. A few. You know, anytime you want to, you can make yourself praise God. You don't think you can. You associate praise with the feeling. I didn't see anything in 1 Chronicles 16 about feelings. I heard about God's sovereignty. I heard about God's shepherding. I heard about God's glory. I heard about his strength. I heard about his face. Nothing about feelings. And that's why it's not dependent on feelings. So in any bad mood, you can pivot to praise. Pivot to praise. David knew how to do this. That's what David knew how to do. That's why the Bible called him a man after God's own heart, not because he was perfect. You think that means he was perfect? Then what's Bathsheba all about? Why did he sleep with a woman while he was supposed to be at war if he was a man after God's own heart? It is not about his perfection. It was about his praise. He gave God glory in all of those things. Because if you don't learn how to pivot to praise in situations, two things will happen. When times are good, you'll run into pride if you don't pivot to praise. And then when times are bad, if you don't pivot to praise, you'll be in a prison of your circumstance. Pride or prison if you don't learn to pivot.